Hello everyone, it's me Tracy Cruz and I'm very, very excited to announce the release of my new album, Universal Symphony. I can't wait to share it with you all. My album, Universal Symphony, has 13 tracks. Some of them are heartfelt ballads, while some of them are really hard-hitting grooves that'll make you want to dance and move. And some of them are very mellow, it allows you to think more on the neo-soul vibe. My husband, Alan Ross, who is the sole producer of the album, collaborated with many talented musicians and artists, including Kenny Corso yeah, sharp five. and Cal Valenti on guitar, Mike Thomas on bass, Bernardo Sapatolo on trumpet, Shawnee Douglas and Anthony Jackson on background vocals. We also featured Sig Natural, who is the MC. Lonnie Dodson, who is an R&B male vocalist, and Yvette Pilant, who is a soul R&B funk soul singer. We started creating Universal Symphony at the end of 2008. We were really excited about philosophy, so we went back to the drawing board and said, hey, we need to make the sophomore album more up-tempo, more exciting, more innovative. We stepped outside of the box and we try to get inspirations from our favorite artists, whether they were R&B, soul, or hip-hop. So basically, we combined R&B, soul, and hip-hop together, meshed it together, and my husband went through all of his sounds and said, hey, okay, this sounds like it's it, because it doesn't sound like anything else. So once we had a unique sound, my husband gave me the tracks and then I started writing to it. Closed the door in our bedroom and just completely went tunnel vision. I had my journal, my water or tea, my pen or pencil, and I just started writing. Once I finally engaged myself in the song, I was able to create a concept. Say, oh, okay, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go outside of making reality songs and start writing songs about love in the galaxy, planet, space. The song Love Galaxy, well, I heard it and said to myself, I don't feel like I'm here. I feel like I'm up in space because of all the sound effects, like shooting stars, Quasars, and it just felt like I was floating on the Milky Way galaxy. Someplace not on Earth. And so I came up with the term Love Galaxy, a place where all the lovers can meet, and that's where love flourishes. So no frustration, no stress, no sadness. Another song that I'm really excited about is Electricity. I've never created a song that was so hard dating and so out of who I was, but still a part of me. It's really aggressive, it's more danceable, and it's really it's an energetic song. And my husband created this song. It was it sounded like synthesizers, like metal, it sounded Silver. Um, it sounded like <laughs> it sounded like something that I've never heard before, and I just see robots, and it was just a really crazy uh, sight <laughs> when I was thinking about the actual concept for the song. And I said, hmm, maybe I should talk about electricity. My favorite song would have to be Happy, I can't just choose one, Happy and Flowers and Candy. Happy because it was completely inspired by Jill Scott's Golden and I love that woman, I love that artist, she's amazing. And I wanted to create a song that people can sing along to and dance to when they're coming to our shows. And some, a song that people can listen to when they're down, when they're having a bad day, you know, they can just listen to it and say, 
oh, you know, life is not bad. <laughs> and, you know, think about the, the blessings that they have and the, the positive side, you know, of, of their life and just celebrate being alive. My other favorite is Flowers and Candy. I'm really excited about this song because it's something that we have never made. It's completely different from any other song we've created because it has so many different sides to it. It's not just a one-dimensional song, it's multi-dimensional. There's different sounds, feelings, and it's like three, one, three in one. It's like a three in one song, as you can say. I think that a lot of young people will be able to relate to this album because it has a lot of fast and fun danceable songs and I also think that the mature audience will appreciate this album because of its lyrical content it tells a lot of life stories love stories just personal intimate stories this album is a musical story so it has to be listened to from the beginning all the way to the very end. Make sure you stay updated at TracyCruz.com and you can also follow me on Twitter.com slash TracyCruzMusic and Facebook.com slash TracyCruzMusic page. And don't forget to sign up for the mailing list. If you sign up, you'll get a free download of one of the songs from the upcoming album. So stay tuned and check that out. Thank you so much. Take care and God bless you.